in Cornwall is an amazing geological place with wonderful clays and interesting minerals and there's a history here that spans five, six thousand years of making pots. So it's important to connect to your environment and I'm not a purist as such as saying I'm only going to use local materials but I do try and, and gather up local ashes and local clays. Um, sometimes I go to the quarry and get granite dust for the glazes and I try and incorporate that when I do and I like the sense of place. So I started off very small with um, a very basic kiln without a programmer. I had a lot of support from other, from other makers uh, came and you know, told me how to set up my studio a little bit better and I endeavoured to make it as uh, creative a place as possible with clay walls, bamboo floors and just felt like the right place for me to be. Uh, and um, so classical music, natural light, lots of tea, that's how I fuel my creative endeavours. I like to see landscapes and I like to make something that actually is symbolic and according to the different thickness of the glaze it's going to radiate light differently um, and then according to the time of day the light will be different so the pot's always looking different because it's filtering the light and the light's never the same so it's, you never get bored. And I see my pots as being almost like bodies. Uh, the moon jars are like feminine forms and then I have masculine forms and it's all about shoulders and buttockses and bellies and they're very sensual and, and expressive. I kind of, I like to tell stories with my pots. I like the alchemical process. Uh, the idea of being an alchemist. I'm a bit like, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a child still, you know, in that way. I like the, the, the idea of magic. I believe in magic. When I fire the kiln, you know, every time I, I, I can't really believe, when I fire in the kiln, I, I can't even believe what's going to happen, that actually I'm making molten lava. And there's something rather splendid about that.